My name is Tedati. I work at the Bookview branch, Oakland Public Library. Today I'm going to read you a story. Let's see what story I'm going to read. It's Dog Blue by Pori Dunbar, published by Candlewood Press. Let's start. Dog Blue! Yep! By Polly Dunbar. Bertie loved blue. He had a blue sweater, a blue dog collar, blue shoes, but no blue dog. What Bertie wanted more than anything in the whole wide world was a dog, a blue dog. So Bertie pretended he had a blue dog. He patted his pretend blue dog. He fed his pretend blue dog. He took his pretend blue dog for a walk. He threw a stick for his pretend blue dog. But pretend dogs don't fetch sticks. So Bertie fetched the stick himself. Bertie pretended he was a dog, a blue dog. He scratched like a blue dog. He slipped like a blue dog. He chased his tail like a blue dog. And Bertie yapped like a blue dog. Yap! And he had a tiny yap. Yap! A real dog yapped back. A tiny dog. All along and looking for an owner. A black and white dog. A beautiful spotted dog. A perfect dog. Bertie's dog. But hang on. Wait a minute. Bertie's dog isn't blue at all. He's not happy. And tiny dog, yep. Bertie's thought and thought. If this black and white, beautiful, spotted, perfect dog is not a blue dog, then he should give the dog something blue. Let's think what he can give the dog something blue. A blue sweater? A blue collar? A blue leaves? Let's see what he's going to give him something blue. A name! Blue! Bertie called his dog Blue. What a perfect pair! Bertie took Blue for a walk. Blue took Bertie for a walk. Bertie fed Blue. Blue sniffed Bertie. Bertie patted Blue. Blue wagged his tail. Then Blue showed Bertie how tail chasing is done when you are a real dog and you really have a tail. So Bertie doesn't need to pretend anymore. Blue really loves Bertie. Bertie really loves Blue. Especially when... It's Bertie's turn to hatch. They both really like each other. The end. Now Bertie has a blue dog. Dog blue. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye for now.